Coming into El Toro's bullpen here. Bullfighting ring. Ice Cream Man, now you are on my tail. What is going on? Oh! <laughs> Everybody got hung up in there. Dragon Kit took advantage of it, and he's now in second place, but Bakugan, Dragonoid, is just taking away the lead here. Welcome back, Toucan Flock, to another episode of Toucan Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Last time, we unlocked El Toro Loco Yellow, and we also unlocked Stone Crusher. There he is right there. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys a couple of secrets that I found. First secret is over here in this little building right here. There's a world unlock in here. This is secret was given to me by another subscriber, and I would never have found where this secret was. It had this subscriber not told me where it was. Never would have found it. There it is right there. So thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate you. And then I thought I'd go ahead and I'd do the world secret unlock for Stone Crusher 2. Not that way, it's this way. We're gonna go through the little sewer tunnel right here. Thankfully not being used yet. And it's just right here, right next to the garage. Going to first person mode through in the driver's seat. See all those rocks, those stones? They need to be crushed. Boom! Crushed. We crush those rocks and then we can go into this mine it's pretty cool so it's just right next to the garage when you spawn in really easy to find got these cool crystal formations hanging out and as you drive around there's some more stones and we crush them because we're stone crusher <laughs> and there it is right in front of us I kind of backed up and I got a good running start and took a boost on it, but I don't think you have to. It's right there. Oof, good landing. And so there you go, that's Stone Crusher's World Secret Unlock. So here it is, the mine. It was a lot of fun. It's just to the right of the main garage as you spawn in. Just take a right, and there it is. But let's get started with today's World Career Mode. We're going to do Chapter 15, Apocalypse Soon. We're going to use Stone Crusher. Looks like we're going to start in Detroit. Do me a favor, though, before we get started on this head-to-head, -head, hit that like button, crush the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of our future videos. And in this head-to-head, -head, we are going to go Stone Crusher versus Megalodon. Ooh, Megalodon is so cool. I can't wait to unlock him. Ah, doggone it. I forgot to turn my HUD back on again. Here we go. There we go. Up and over. You know, one of the things that I learned watching real-life monster trucks is that when you hit this first little jammer right here as you come around this corner, this jammer right here, you want to brake and then go slowly over it because you want to keep all four tires on the ground as long as possible. Because we are not making forward progression if our tires are not on the ground. So we do a quick little brake and then we go up and over and we keep our tires on the ground as long as possible. With this figure eight, if we kept on going as fast as we could over that jammer, then we would go flying in the wrong direction. So we have to come around the corner. Well, since this is the last one, we can just go as fast as we want. But you can see, we would just go flying and we'd be going the wrong direction. And it, it paid off. We're in first place. See, we beat Megalodon hands down, no problem. Nice. First place, so we're moving on. Ooh, a dragon's moving on. Ice Cream Man is who we're gonna go against next. Let's get ready for round two. St 
Stone Crusher, the Caveman, versus Ice Cream Man. <laughs> He's a cool truck, too. I oh, like Ice Cream Man. Three, two, one, go! Perfect start. Yep, slow over the jammer. Here we go. Around the figure eight we go. Uh, I could probably do a little bit better with the, uh, the drifts there coming around the corner. Let's see if I can do a little better this time. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, break, and then up and over. There we go. Good job. Uh, these drifts... I don't know. It's it's hard for me to get the drifts down right with this big old beast of a truck. We're still beating uh, Ice Cream Man. Nice slow over the jammer. Yeah, too too tight of a turn there. <laughs> At least we didn't rip flip. Yeah, we're a full nine seconds ahead of Ice Cream Man. That's good. Oh jeez. There we go. We got it. Nice. <laughs> I try to mess up Ice Cream Man's run. Well, not that we had to. We had a 10 second lead on him. So we're moving on. Let's see. Dragon versus Doomsday. Who do you think is going to win? Doomsday. Doomsday won. So we're going to be going against Doomsday in the final head to head. Here we go. Final head to head at Detroit number two. Stone Crusher. I like the color scheme. It's really cool. I still haven't watched any videos with Stone Crusher in it yet. And Doomsday. It looks like Darth Vader. Three, two, one, and go! Perfect start. Slow it down over the jammer. There we go. Good. Get some good drifts around the corner, maybe. Yeah, not too bad. Coming around this corner. Whoa! Big drift right there. Slow it down. Up over. Good jump. That wasn't too bad. It was a little too high, but it wasn't too bad. Four and a half seconds of over Doomsday. We got this. Whoa! Big drift there. Slow. Good job. Okay, here we go. Coming around the corner. Not bad, not bad. Eight seconds ahead of Doomsday. Let's go get him. Oh, almost had him. Yes, thank you, my adoring fans. I am the winner. First place in the head-to-head -head competition. Thank you for my trophy. All right, next event is going to be freestyle. Freestyle event, of course. What we want to do is... Oh, it's nice and dark in here. Freestyle events, we want to collect all of the beacons as we can. And as we're collecting the beacons, the beacons are placed over jumps and obstacles to give us an opportunity to do a nice trick, like that little trick right there. Kind of a big air. Not really, though. There we go. That's a big air. And over here, this one is placed on this shipping container to let us do a backflip. There we go. Eh, didn't count, but this one will. Nice backflip. Oh, missed the beacon. Ooh, and a wheelie, sort of. <laughs> uh, oh, nice stoppy and a power out. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this one with a backflip this time. There we go. Much better. And a wheelie. How long can I hold it? Let's go, let's go! Nice! That was a good wheelie! Oh! <laughs> and a power out! Nice! Nice! That was a good, good set! Let's do a little bit of a cyclone action here out in the open, sort of. Uh, there we go. Cyclone donut. And a power out? No, it didn't count the power out. That's alright. Nice! Ooh, nice stoppy action there, sort of. Come on, give me the bicycle. Oh, it did give me the bicycle. Okay, good. Cyclone over here in the corner. Throwing all that mud around. Look at it go flying. 
Let up some big air. Nice. Now in these real life competitions, the judges will judge based on how many of the obstacles you utilize. Nice wheelie. How many of the obstacles you utilize in your competition. Nice, that was a big long wheelie. And I think I've been using all these obstacles that I can here. I've been doing it, this is a good run. We are definitely in first place. No, that, there we go, that works. Ah, time's up. No bonus time. That's all right, that's all right. We did it, we had a really good run there. Yes, thank you, my adoring fans. Still in first place, level eight on Stone Crusher. Next event is going to be the Desert Dust Up Waypoint Map. Now, traditionally, I don't do so hot on these waypoint maps, but let's see how we do. Go! Perfect start out the gate. I was expecting Bakugan to, to stop and brake check me. He always does that. But not this time. All right, coming up alongside Higher Education. We're getting into him there. Oh! He is right on my tail. Ooh, there's a jump right over here. Let's see if we can get it. A booster. Nice boost. Oh! Doomsday, if I had the same idea. Come on, Higher Education. You are just banging into me left and right here. Oof! Coming into El Toro's bullpen here. Bullfighting ring. Ice Cream Man, now you are on my tail. What is going on? Oh! <laughs> Everybody got hung up in there. Dragon Kit took advantage of it, and he's now in second place, but Bakugan, Dragonoid, is just taking away the lead here. Oh, Dragon! That's such a cool truck. I like Dragon. Alright, now it's just me and Dragonoid out in the front. Ah, oh, that shield ability keeps pushing me back. Oh, jeez, again! Come on, Dragonoid. You gotta get out of the way. Make way for the true leader here. Alright, first place. We got this. Got this in the bag. I love these sand dunes. They're so fun. No, getting a little rocky there. Looks like Bakugan is still on my tail. This big open area, though, is fun. Easy to stay out in the lead, too. Yeah, get out of here, trees. Part of the, the demolition crew. Ah! Stone Crusher is part of the demolition crew. And... Oh, no! Oh, I missed the, the waypoint. Come on! Ah! Okay, go, 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 go. Anyway, so the demolition crew, they can cruise past. Wait a minute, where am I going? Oh, no. Ah! Oh, come on, get up. <laughs> oh, come on, Stone Crusher, get up. Uh, sixth place. Of course, every time I'm doing really well, something happens. And I get knocked back down to 6th place. Anyway, as I was saying, the demolition crew, they can cruise through obstacles. And they don't get slowed down by them. So that tree and other things in the way, they just don't matter to these demolition crew guys. There's not a whole lot of obstacles in this little ravine here, though. Not that it matters a whole lot. I am in last place. There's two waypoints left. Those trees don't... Ah, jeez, I almost missed that one, too. Yeah, everybody's already finished. <laughs> Man, you, you mess up one time. Oh, <laughs> hello, dragon falling from the sky. I guess he really used those wings. And that's it. Mess up one time, and then that's it for the rest of your race. That's why I don't like these waypoints. I like the circuit races better. First place still overall, level 11 on Stone Crusher. I think we did good, really good on that freestyle, and that kept us in first place. Let's see, what did we unlock? Doomsday! Darth Vader himself. Very cool, I like that. That's a nice truck. I like the 
I like the red lightsabers on the side too. That's really cool. Nice touch. I like Doomsday. He's a good truck. We unlock the Detroit head-to-head -head and the Desert Dust-Up Waypoint map. All right. So we still need to unlock Dragon. But I, I really think... Let's see, where is he? He's out in the, the dunes somewhere. That'll be a fun unlock. I think I'm going to save it for the next episode, though. The next episode is going to be the last episode here in the Wastelands. And then we're going to move on to the final area. But I do have something a little special planned. We're going to do Gas Monkey Garage. One of my first fans, Mark, he asked if I could do a special on Gas Monkey. So I am going to do Gas Monkey. Gas Monkey is a, he's a cool truck. You know, there's not a whole lot of design elements to it, but I really like the classic muscle car look that the, the truck itself has. The green color is fun, too. The green uh, car and the green rims on the, the, the wheels, those BKT tires. It's a cool truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to get Gas Monkey's Secret World Unlock. So if we started from... Ooh, hey, uh, sagebrush. Poof! I love hitting those little tumbleweeds. That's fun. Anyway, so over here is the main garage. If we start from there... You can see this T-Rex up there on the hill. So we want to get up there where that T-Rex is at. So we're going to come around the corner over here. The T-Rex is off here to the right. There he is. Hello, Mr. T-Rex. But we don't really care about the T-Rex. He doesn't have to do anything. He just kind of sits there roaring the whole time. But if we come around this way... Oof, get out of here, tree. This is the actual Gas Monkey Garage. There's the garage and there's the beacon. But I think it's fun that there's a cool little Easter egg over here. We got these hot rods because the real Gas Monkey Garage, that's what they do. They they fix up and they modify hot rod cars in real life. And so it's a kind of a fun little Easter egg that they got those hot rods over there in this uh, in-game version of the Gas Monkey Garage. So yeah, very cool. Let's get the beacon. And once we get the beacon, there's a nice fireworks show going on over here by the garage, the main garage. Green fireworks for Gas Monkey. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, so I also wanted to show you another secret. Uh, not a secret, just a world unlock. They're not secret because you can see them, but show you how to collect it. So there's a couple off to the left over here once you get on that freeway overpass, but then we're going to do this first one off to the right. And to get to it, you want to get up on this main track by the big half-circle magnet over here. We're going to hang a right U-turn right up here. We're going to go up this hill. And you can see it up there at the top of that hill. you got to kind of keep your speed going. This last little bit is a little difficult. you just got to get a boost, and boom, there it is. Hopefully you make a good landing. Oh, not on the side of the mountain, though. <laughs> not a good landing there. Oops. I'll show you one more, too, because we're right here by it. You gotta get get your boost meter up. Here it is right here. You aim for that one that's right there. You get a nice big boost. There it is. So there you go. Two of the world unlocks, or world collectibles, rather, here in the wastelands. Oh, yeah, this is just fun. There's no collectible or anything, but... Just kind of fun to go into the airplane and shoom, shoot right out the top. Ooh, steez! <laughs> airplane parts go flying, car parts go flying. I looked around all over the place up there on the top on that uh, freeway overpass. There's nothing up there. <laughs> Ooh, nice backflip. And so anyway, that's Gas Monkey Garage. Don't worry, I've got a video coming soon with has all of the unlocks for all of the areas i'm going to do each area one by one and we'll get all of the world unlocks i hope you enjoyed this video i know i enjoyed making it do me a favor if you haven't done so already click that subscribe button click on one of these other videos that are on the screen right now that youtube thinks you'll enjoy and then we'll see you on the flip side later